Well, hello. It is I, Echo Craft. And, you know, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the Autoria Mini Freak. Um, on this demo that I'm doing, I also did an unboxing video as well. But on the demo that I'm going to do, um, or did, I already did the demo. Um, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. And I like the way Synth Samurai did his demo um, because he took the presets and he kind of tweaked them. And that's kind of what I did. Um, while I was doing that, I also made a few presets uh, of my own by tweaking some of the presets built in. So without further ado, let's check it out. Here we go. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to buy anything, but I did. And I sold some stuff again. I sold, I sold a Korg Monolog Red, and I sold the uh, Roland SEO 2 and, um, on gear exchange, and so I bought a mini freak because I watched Synth Samurai's video and I watched Starsky Carr's video and I, wa I watched a whole bunch of videos. I gotta tell you, I downloaded the software first and I really like the software. And I heard that the software goes really well with the Autoria mini freak hardware. So here it is, I'm gonna unbox it now. I've got my handy dandy knife. And this just arrived today, and it was uh, FedEx overnight to me, which was really nice by Sweetwater. Um, but here it is. I'm, I'm doing the deed. Here we go. Okay, let me put this down. And I love Sweetwater's packing because they pack everything really nicely. And look at that. Oh yeah, it's nice packing stuff. I can reuse this if I have to. It says hot, so this must be a hot new item. Um, well, look at Sweetwater, see? Yay, Sweetwater. Greg's my guy at Sweetwater. You should check him out. He's definitely the man. Um, I'll put his link in the description. If you wanna buy stuff from Sweetwater, you wanna talk to Greg. And here it is, it's got some weight to it. Pretty hefty. There it is, the Mini Freak. Let me get rid of the box here. There's a little handle on it too, isn't that cute? And of course we have Sweetwater Candy. Woo! All right, let's put this box away. I know it's noisy, sorry. Got my candy over there, put this here. Boom, all right, this is it. The Artoria Mini Freak Algor algorithmic synthesizer. Say that three times fast. Um, yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty impressed with this. Nice box. I guess this slides out. Hmm. Maybe. How's, it, how's this open? I don't want to rip the packaging because the packaging's cool. I'm a I'm a I'm a box hoarder actually. Oh look here it goes. It's sliding out, and I don't like. I actually save my boxes for a reason, because if I do sell a piece of gear, the nice thing about that is you get to send it to the person in a box. The original packaging, I should say. We can just zoom in a little bit here. Um, so yeah, so, and also if you have to send stuff out to be, uh, have to send stuff out to be fixed, it's always good to send it in the original packaging and, you know, it's nice. Um, let's see, we got USB cable, wow. Oh, we got the Euro pack for the, uh, yeah. So, uh, it's nice that they give you a USB cable though. It's pretty cool. All right, and here it is. And, you know, 
since Samurai said it had some weight to it, and it does. It's actually really nice. Um, I'm very excited about this piece of equipment, to be honest with you. And I always get excited about keyboards, because keyboards are amazing. There's a manual. I like modules, too. And let me put this stuff back. Because, you know, I did the uh, I did the unboxing of the, the Wasp and the Cat by Behringer. And I really like those. I put all three of them together because I got an extra one. Oh, this is nice. Okay, Artoria. This is very nice. Let's zoom in a little bit. So we've got uh, our sliders here, which are basically your pitch wheel and mod wheel. Um, I love this thing. Now, this has a thing called the Exploding Frog on it. I'm not quite sure what that is yet. Nice knobs. Artoria uh, definitely changed the knobs because I have uh, a Matrix Brute and I also have a, um, a Drum Brute Impact. Um, and I guess I can back that off a little bit. There we go. Um, and the... Uh, Drum Brute Impact and the Matrix Brute and the Key Step. Uh, and I also have a Beat Step. Um, they all have those funky sticky knobs. Um, and I know Artoria said that they will replace the knobs. I'm still waiting for a response back from them on that. But yeah, and I guess this also has a random feature, which is kind of interesting. So I know the Micro Freak was very popular. Oh, these are buttons too. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Um, I, I, you know, I know the Micro Freak was very cool, but I, uh, I heard that this is better. And it's also polyphonic, uh, duophonic. Polyphonic, duophonic? Let's see, what does it say here? Uh, let's see, where is it? I know it's on here somewhere. Oh, mono, poly, uh, para, and uni so yeah so yeah let's get this sucker hooked up um oh check out the stuff on the back we've got um yeah let's turn this around this is this is heavy it's a heavy keyboard um so we've got midi in midi out midi through we've got uh usb we've got sustain pedal we've got clock in clock out we've got uh reset out uh we've got audio in um, we've got, uh, right and left out. We've got a headphone jack, power and power switch. Yeah. Nice little machine. Nice little keyboard. Feels great. It really does. It feels great. Keyboard feels pretty good too. I'm not a big fan of mini keys. I got a couple of keyboards that have mini keys. I don't really care. I've gotten used to playing mini keys. The other thing I want to do with this is set this up because I know that if I go MIDI uh, into this from my uh, ex, uh, uh, Expressive E Osmos, that I'll be able to get some really good uh, MPE expression off of this. So I'm very excited about that. All right. So without further ado, let's check this poppy out, shall we? Thank you. 
Wow. Yeah, that's all I got to say is, wow, this is incredible. Um, a Toria mini freak. I, I, I'm blown away by this little, this little synthesizer. Um, I have to say, besides the um, Expressive E Osmos, this is probably one of my favorite synthesizers. And I got a lot of them, and I like them all, but this thing kills. It just kills, man. It's amazing. It's sonically intense. Uh, it growls. It's nasty, but it can be very light and gentle as well. Uh, most impressed by this thing. Um, and I, I intend to do another demo using it with the um, Expressive E Osmos because from what I understand, uh, the Osmos uh, can control the uh, Mini Freak and you can get some of that MPE expression off of it, which is pretty dope. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but yeah, you can see it. It's like right behind me right there. Uh, that's where the Korg uh, monologue was going to live, but I ended up selling it on Sweetwater Gear Exchange only because, you know, I got a ton of mono synthesizers, uh, analog mono synthesizers, and, you know, I just got rid of it. I, it was in a closet. It was, it was in the closet over there, and I wasn't using it, and uh, yeah, so I'm also selling my um, uh, my Roland SEO2 putting that up for sale. That's on gear exchange right now. Uh, you can go there. It's under echo craft. If you want to buy it, there it is. I'm letting it go pretty cheaply actually for a used SEO two That's never seen the outside world other than my studio. Um, but yeah. So anyway, getting back to the uh, mini freak killer. Um, I, I like the way Synth Samurai did his demo. So basically what he did was he took patches and he tweaked them and made them his own kind of, and that's kind of what I did too. Um, instead of just playing through a bunch of presets and not really doing anything to them. Um, but anyway, uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe, um, you know, hit the bell, get notified. And uh, yeah. More to come, my friends, more to come. Oh, and by the way, I am using the uh, toner microphone that I, that I um, said that the fine fine sounded better. And I have to say, after I heard it back on my YouTube channel, uh, the, the toner uh, TD510, that's the name of this microphone, I'm actually blown away by how good it sounds. So, um, yeah, uh, toner inexpensive microphones, but sound great. Um, it's a USB and it's an XLR. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Um, so stay tuned for some more stuff because you know, I'm always posting something. I'm probably going to do another jam session and, uh, pay attention to what's going to happen next week is I will be on, uh, synth samurai's, uh, podcast or video cast on YouTube again on Wednesday. Hopefully, uh, the good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I will be there to fight the good fight. All right. Like I always say, folks, stay frosty and uh, stay creative. Peace.